Hi dear students, today we are going to discuss a new chapter of grade 10 that is chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. In grade 8, we have already studied linear equations in one variable and we have learned how to solve such equations, isn't it? And in grade 9, we learned linear equations in two variables x and y and we have studied how to solve such equations graphically. And now in grade 10, we will learn about pair of linear equations, two equations at a time in two different variables x and y. Okay, and here we will learn two different methods, graphical and algebraic method to solve. Okay, and in algebraic method, we have uh, like uh, what's the substitution method as well as elimination method, which are very easy only. Okay, so we know how to represent a linear equation in two variables, that is a x plus b y plus c equal to 0. This we have already studied in grade 9, a linear equation in two variables x and y. Here a, b and c are real numbers. Now in grade 10, we have a pair of linear equations in two variables, isn't it? Pair of linear equation means we can understand there will be two equations, isn't it? So we can represent it as a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 which is one of the equation and second equation will be a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. Okay, here we have two equations a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. And we will learn how to solve these equations graphically as well as it by algebraic method. And when we think about equations, these are linear equations, which means this equation represents lines, isn't it? So, we must know that two lines, whenever we get two lines, there are three possibilities, isn't it? The possibilities are either the lines will be intersecting, intersecting lines, or the lines will be parallel. If not, the, then the lines will be coincident, isn't it? If the lines are intersecting, intersecting lines means what? Two lines, it will intersect at a point, isn't it? Two lines where it intersect at a point. So, if the lines are intersecting, then from this equation we can say that a1 by A2 not equal to B1 by B2. If A1 by A2 not equal to B1 by B2, then we can say that the lines are intersecting. If the lines are intersecting, we must be able to solve that. We must be able to show that A1 by A2 not equal to B1 by B2. And also you must have to note down that if the lines are intersecting, then the linear equation, it will be consistent and there will be only one solution okay there will be only one solution or unique solution hope it is clear okay so in general we can say that if the lines are intersecting then a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 which the uh, uh, equation will have only uh, one solution, exactly one solution. Okay, then we can say that the given lines are consistent. Okay, and if the lines are parallel, if the lines are parallel, then we can say that a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. Then the given equations will be inconsistent. with the no solutions okay and if the lines are coincident then a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 where the given line uh, pair of linear equations will be consistent and there will be infinitely many solutions, okay. 
infinitely many solutions please take it to your notebook students very important only okay hope it is clear if for any pair of linear equations there are three possibilities either it will be intersecting or uh, parallel or coincident if the given lines are intersecting then we can say that a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 okay and if the lines are parallel then a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 and if the lines are coincident a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 with the infinitely many solutions it's very easy only students when we solve few questions from the first exercise you will be able to understand more okay please take the notebook